Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we talk about five more cheap guitar hacks. A few years ago, I did a video about uh, cheap guitar improvements, and I've done several videos kind of revolving around that subject. Well, with the uh, touring that I have done over the last few years, I think I have enough for another video. So today, we're going to talk about five more cheap guitar hacks. Hack number one, lube. And no, I'm not talking about like, well, lube your nut with, you know, Big Ben's nut sauce. No, I am talking about a Teflon based lubricator called TriFlow. Now, TriFlow is something that I get from stumac.com. And this is a pinpoint precision application of a Teflon based lubricant. Now, this is good for lubricating and making things smooth, things like uh, your pivot points on your tremolo, and especially in my case, tuning machines. Now, I had a couple of tuning machines that were giving me kind of weird issues. They were older tuner machines on an older guitar, and I brought new life into all of those tuners using the TriFlow pen. However, most recently, uh, I switched to uh, Schaller style uh, strap locks, and will you pull to release the strap lock. However, I found that the TriFlow helped immensely with the entire mechanism just working uh, a little bit better. And this little TriFlow pen will last you a very, very long time. I've had this for, I think, two or three years now, and it'll cost you $16. Hack number two, speaking of tuners, tightening and adjusting your tuners. Now, the little set screw on your tuning keys is there to be adjusted. Now, I'm not talking about over tightening your tuners, which is very easy to do. However, if you were to take off all of the tension on your tuning keys, I like to keep an eye on the amount of backlash that is in the tuners. Backlash meaning uh, how loose or how much play there is between loosening and tightening on the gear, the amount of play. And typically, the set screw on the tuning key will will uh, will help any of that most of the time on new tuners that has come from the factory set but uh, for older guitars or guitars that have been heavily gigged over the past decade or something like that this is definitely something to be mindful of and i like to check on mine from time to time do you like coffee because i like coffee as well and i want to let you know about a new coffee company that's in town the charlie royal coffee company specifically focusing on cold brew although i am not much of a cold brew guy i like my uh my coffee traditionally made with the pour over method and they also have whole bean selections for that i am currently drinking the royal roast coffee which is too bad this microphone doesn't have smell o vision however uh for cold brew and cold brew accessories as well as whole bean options please check out the Charlie Royal Coffee Company. You won't regret it. Link down below in the description. Hack number three is kind of a follow-up, if you will. A few years ago, I talked about uh, using illuminated paint to kind of make, um, I don't know, a poor man's lumen lay uh, side dot markers for your guitar neck. However, if you want something less permanent and um, something, I don't know, that lasts a little bit longer or maybe visibly larger, I highly recommend these uh, dot stickers from the Chroma Label Company. Now, these are just very simple circular dot stickers that come in a variety of colors, but this particular brand uh, are used by some of my guitar tech buddies uh, out there in the touring world, and these seem to be the only ones that will not just fall off after you sweat all over them. The side dot markers on two of my guitars have done two tours so far without any issue, without any issue falling off. However, when you do put these on, be sure to prep the neck applicably, uh, clean the side of the neck, removing any oils from your hands, and use a set of tweezers to apply the dots. Do not use your fingers as the oils from your fingers will make them peel off over time. If you do that, you are set for a long, long time. Hack number four, a uh, hair tie string to mute your uh, to mute the string ring. Um, I know a lot of people like to use tape, foam, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. However, for literally two dollars, uh, you can you can get a pack of 
very, very small hair ties from Amazon. And this is very, very handy to put over the headstock of your um, behind the nut on your headstock over the strings and it will uh, kill any string ring. Very simple, very effective, no unsightly foam or duct tape or anything like that. Very cool tip. And hack number five, last but not least, this is one I actually only started doing the last, uh, you know, year or so for you active guitar uh, users on your nine volt battery, write the date with a permanent marker so you can know in the future when and how old uh, the battery is. Uh, this recently came in handy because uh, I thought I was having some weird issues with one of my Fishman guitars. I just needed a battery and uh, I had written the date on the nine volt battery in the cavity and didn't even remember I did that. I looked at the battery and saw the date from a year ago and uh, yeah, I thought mm, it's probably time to change the battery. This is a cool, simple and effective way to know uh, how long your battery has approximately been in your guitar and how many play hours it has on it. Very handy, very useful. And that's it. Those are the five cheap guitar hacks that I have for you today. I hope you have found some of those useful. And if you have your own, uh, if you have your own guitar hacks, leave them down below in the comments. Maybe we make another follow up video. You've been wonderful. I've been fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.